Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts, and I want to talk to you today about vitamin D and really the importance of vitamin D and getting natural sunlight. Because I think we live in a society today where we're really afraid of the sun. We're told if you get uh, too much sunlight, then we're going to get uh, skin cancer. So we have so many people afraid of getting skin cancer that we're not getting any sun exposure. And when we don't get enough sun exposure, then we have low vitamin D levels. And low vitamin D levels actually leave you more susceptible to heart disease, to cancer, to osteoporosis, to dementia, to a leaky gut. So it can lead to a number of different problems if your vitamin D levels are low. Now, the way we get vitamin D is through, or natural vitamin D, is through sunlight. So when the sun hits the skin, it interacts with cholesterol in the skin and turns it into a vitamin D. And vitamin D is important for a number of functions in the body, and that's what I wanna go through with you. I wanna explain really the importance of vitamin D in the body. Now, um, vitamin D in the body, what it helps to do is, one thing it helps to do is it actually helps us to properly absorb calcium in the gut. And when we properly, properly absorb that calcium, that really helps us to be able to build strong bones. So um, anytime we're taking calcium, you actually wanna pair that with vitamin D because that helps in the proper absorption. So vitamin D is needed for maintaining proper serum calcium phosphorus concentrations in the body. And why that's important is that we need that concentration to be nice and balanced in order for us to have proper muscle contractions, nerve conduction, and proper cellular function. So it really plays an important role in a number of different functions in the body. The other thing that vitamin D helps with is vitamin D is an immune modulator. So that means that we need a proper amount of vitamin D in our body to have normal immune function in the body. So that plays a big role too. So as we, as we increase our vitamin D, we actually improve the immune function in the body. So another thing about vitamin D is that vitamin D is actually a hormone. Um, it was classed as a vitamin, but it's actually a hormone. And what it helps do is it's one of the major building blocks of hormones. And so if we don't have enough vitamin D, it can actually throw off our hormone balance. So anyone who's experiencing any sort of hormonal imbalance, you also got to evaluate um, vitamin D levels in the body. Now, another thing that vitamin D helps with is vitamin D3 has been shown to increase the biodiversity of the microbiome. So that whole ecosystem of bacteria that live within your gut. When you have vitamin D, it actually helps to create more diversity in those microbes. And it also helps to decrease opportunistic pathogens in the body or in that gut flora. So this plays a key role in making sure that our microflora in the gut is nice and balanced. So that's another huge factor that vitamin D plays in the body. So ideally, I encourage my patients to get some natural vitamin D, so some getting some exposure to sunlight of at least 10 minutes a day, and making sure that you're not covering up, that you're having the skin exposed, and that you don't have sunscreen on for 10 minutes a day, and that'll get you some good vitamin D. And if you're not able to get that sun exposure, then I do recommend supplementing with vitamin D. Uh, I recommend supplementing with vitamin D3. And D3 is the natural form of vitamin D. So when it's the natural form, it makes it more bioavailable, easier for your body to absorb and utilize when it's in that form. 
Vitamin D is also fat soluble, so it needs to be uh, taken in with other fats in order to be properly absorbed. And there are some food sources that have uh, vitamin D in it, like some fish will have it. Um, so that'll be the salmon, tuna, mackerel. And uh, egg yolks are also another food source of vitamin D. So these are different ways that we can be getting vitamin D through natural sunlight, through supplementing with vitamin D3, through some of those food sources. But ideally, we really want to make sure that we're getting enough vitamin D in order to really protect our systems because there's huge benefits to vitamin D in the body and helping with proper function of the body. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned a little bit more about vitamin D and why it's so vitally important in our body. And I encourage you to share this with your friends, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.